When it comes to the bold and the beautiful, every fan has their own opinion, and so Pup is no different. For five days, we sat and watched the good, the bad, and everything in between, and now we offer you a handy review, and a cheeky critique, of BNB's week that was, the bold and the beautiful, a critic's week in review the good, two storylines played out, simultaneously, for the majority of the week, we are not counting Monday's episode, which featured Sheila Carter, Kimberlyn Brown, blackmailing Jack, Finnegan, Ted King, and then a whole load of people talking about how terrible Sheila was, nor Friday's episode, as Liam Spencer, Scott Clifton, and Hope Logan Spencer, Anakin Noel, having sex does not count as a storyline. Also, the boat and the beautiful writers finally allowed its characters to remember that they actually have a past, and nothing was sweeter than watching Quint Fulton Forrester, Rena Sofer, pointedly inquire as to whether or not Ridge Forrester, Thorsten K, and Brooke Logan Forrester's, Catherine Kelly and Lang, had ever been unfaithful to one another, because we all know they have. But that very moment leads us to the bad, why, oh why does no one ever remind themselves that Ridge and Quinn got all kissy face while she was married to Eric? And why are we supposed to be surprised by Eric's, John McCook, confession to suffering from erectile dysfunction? We've known this fact for about a decade, unless we're the only ones who remember that he was having to resort to using Viagra while married to Donna Logan, Jennifer Garice. Further B&B critics musings what is Carter Walton's, Lawrence son Victor, purpose on the show, now that he and Clint have called it quits? Will he fade into the background? Become the third in a Paris Buckingham, Diamond White slash Sin Forrester, Delone de Metz, B&B Triangle? Or would B&B actually go there and continue the quarter affair, with Eric as a, willing cuckold? Does anyone really care about B&B's John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Noblin, and his feelings, like, anybody? This poor man has got a wife, and a new extended family, dictating to him whether or not he can see his own biological mother, and say what you will about Sheila, but we just find this deplorable. Sheila's past actions, particularly the ones committed during her time on The Young and the Restless, make so much sense now. What the heck was up with that super sketchy convo between Sheila and Keith, the hotel manager? Why didn't Sheila, at any point, correct the narrative and explain that she was anxiously awaiting a meeting with her son, and not the lover that Keith so obviously assumed they were talking about? When Sheila was making her pitch for leniency from Steffi, she really should have included, and you did shoot me in the shoulder a few years ago. Can't that make us even for the whole Taylor thing? Where were the security guards that Ridge supposedly hired? You know, the ones Brooke mentioned during the prelude to their hanky-panky. Are they so ineffectual that they just let Sheila walk right up to the Cliff House's front door? B&B Anvil of the Week, Steffi making mention of her and Finn's has yet to be filed marriage license. The Bold and the Beautiful, BB, airs weekdays on CBS. Check your local listings for airtimes. For more about what's coming up in Los Angeles, check out all the latest that's been posted on BNB Spoilers, and for an in-depth look at the show's history, click here. Adblock test, why, 